Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. Last time, we stopped off here in this route, after having caught a Snorlax, which is a very tough Pokemon to capture, and let's fight some trainers to level up a bit. I found Carbos in a cave once. You did, now did you? Which cave was it? Was it the Rock Tunnel or Mount Moon? Because those are the only caves that, we, that I've encountered so far, unless you count Diglett's cave or tunnel, which, whichever one it is. Oh well, just pretty much your standard water types, which go down in one hit from a Thunderbolt, which I should probably recharge soon. In fact, I'm pretty sure that these next few trainers Wow, that's really unlucky. Uh, that these next few trainers will be having primarily water types and... Oh, I want to get a polywag so I can trade it for a Jinx. Okay, one more Pokemon in this trainer's team, and then I'll probably switch to Jackie Chan. Because he needs a level up. Speaking of which, I think I will try fishing up a uh, polywag soon. Let's see. Just messed up. Carbos boosted the speed of my Pokémon. I'm sure it did. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I have the Super Rod right there. Nope, nothing. I'm just gonna keep on fishing till I find a polywag. There we go. Let's hope it's a polywag and not something else. <clears throat> Kinda cool. No thanks. Oh, especially at level 5. Jeez, that's not good. You know what? I think I'll switch out to, uh... Victory. He's my second lowest level Pokémon and the least likely to knock out the Pokémon that I fish up. Come on, I wanna reel in a polywag so I can trade for a jinx. Goldeen! Eh, kinda close, but not quite. Not what I'm looking for. What the? Didn't mean to go to the Pokedex. Maybe I should try in a different spot. But then again, the whole route is the same fishing chances. Okay, that's just insulting. Come on, I don't want to fish up Magikarps, especially with the Super Rod. In fact, if anything, Magikarps getting hooked by a Super Rod should be very rare instead of common. In fact, I think it probably is rare with the Super Rod. Not sure how common Poliwag is, though. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna check. Let's see here. Oh, it's not even here on this route. I think it is. Just gotta check the Pokedex, actually. Let's see. What? Oh, right. It's a fishing spot only Pokemon, so... Yeah. Let's head back to the Pokemon Center so that I can actually heal up my Pokemon. This is a really long path to take as well. Okay, almost back there. And yes, I realize I went right past the uh, Vermilion City area. Hold on, I'm just gonna pause real quick and be back in a second, actually. Okay, I'm back, and apparently Polywag can be fished up here in Vermilion City. It can also be fished up in uh, 
cerulean as well, but I don't have access to the water there. Come on, why am, why am I not getting anything to bite? Maybe it's because I'm in between two houses. Oh, never mind. Found something. Ow! I didn't want a shelter. Maybe later, but not right now. I don't want to fight a shelter. I want to catch a polywag. Why does it keep putting me back at the Pokedex? Let's see. Is this a polywag? I hope so, because this is getting ridiculous. Ah! You know what? I'm gonna meet you guys back when I've found a polywag. I'm not gonna waste video time. Finally! It took long enough just to find one. Jeez. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna play it safe here and try using Leech Life on it. There, that that's pretty good. <laughs> and I had to go to Pallet Town just to catch this Poliwag. Uh, I think that's good enough for damage. If I do one more Leech Life, I'll probably knock it out by accident, and I don't want that. Yes! Got him. So now I'm gonna train this thing up t into a Poliwhirl. Poliwag, the tadpole Pokemon. Its newly grown legs prevent it from running. It appears to prefer swimming than trying to stand. And now I'm not gonna nickname it. So I'll see you back at Cerulean with a Poliwhirl. And we're back with a fully with an evolved Poliwhirl. It's, it took me a while of training in the rock tunnel, but hey, it's worth it to have gotten that Poliwhirl to trade for a Jinx, and where is Poliwhirl's entry? Uh, oh, there it is. Poliwhirl the Tadpole Pokemon, capable of living in or out of water. When out of water, it sweats to keep its body slimy. Too much information there. <laughs> Okay, so now, time to fly back to Cerulean and trade for a Jinx, who's going to become my next team member. Which is right here. Hello there, do you want to trade your Polyworld for Jinx? Sure do. Okay, connect the cable like so. So, here begins yet another in-game trade. My Poliwhirl for his Jinx. And it's probably a very fair trade, actually. I trade him over a Water-type Pokémon for a very good Psychic Ice-type. And also, with it being a traded Pokémon, it gains extra experience in battle. And that there is Jinx. And I think it has a funny nickname. Thanks. The Poliwhirl you traded to me went and evolved. Ah, does that mean it's a Poliwrath now? Oh, I thought it had a different name other than Lola. But hey, it's an Ice Psychic type, which is very good. Uh, the attack Lovely Kiss, I believe, either confuses or puts the opponent to sleep. I'll have to test that out in battle later on. And let's see, where is Jinx in the Pokedex? Ah, uh, here we go. Jinx, the human-shaped Pokémon. It seductively wiggles its hips as it walks. It can cause people to dance in unison with it. Okay, so now it's time for me to pretty much start training this Jinx up as a member of my team. Because it needs all the experience it can get to catch up with my team right now. Well, this is going to be the quickest way back to that route. Because, well, <laughs> the uh, opening to the path is right there, 
Why not make full use of it? So... And I've also got Lola's attacks planned out as well. Um, did I pick up the Psychic Team or does it learn Psychic on its own? Nope, I'll have to teach it Psychic through the TM, so I suppose that's one thing to do if I haven't already gotten the item for it. Oh, I think I put Bellsprout into the PC so I can't get him right now. <laughs> get that item right now, so I'll have to come back there later. There's wild bennets and pidgeys in that patch of grass. At least I think there are, because... Wait, actually, I, I was here last time, and so I shouldn't have to be explore explaining that. My Pokemon want... My bird Pokemon want to scrap. Okay. Well, I'm pretty much ready to freeze your bird Pokemon in a block of ice. That looks weird! Uh, Lick won't be doing anything due to it being a ghost-type move, I think I'll... Let's try this! Oh, it didn't affect him! Great. Let's try again. Oh, quit! It's missing! <laughs> of course. Uh, oh, it puts him to sleep. Okay, that's... Eh, I guess it's okay. But I'm more of an offensive type of guy in battle, but... You probably oh, knew that already. Jeez, that did barely anything. Okay, let's try Pound. That's probably the stronger of the two moves. So yeah, uh, what? Alright, oh, took a sand attack to the face just like that. That must really sting, since it looks like it went right into Lola's eyes right there. Because getting sand in your eyes must really sting a lot. And let's see, one more pound? Oh, come on. Well, at least I got a free turn in from that whirlwind, since it doesn't work in trainer battles. A boosted 510! That's basically what it says when you, well, win a battle with a traded Pokemon. And I think that's enough for Lola for now. I'll let Bolt finish off this trainer. Besides, Lola's a little low on HP. But I'll definitely be leveling her up as we go along. A bird combo lost? Yes, it did. My Pokemon look happy even though they lost. Good for them! Now, where's my lemonade? Uh, That's about 30 HP. I think fresh water will be better off. Oh, 29 HP. I was just, I was just off by one. Close enough. I told him, good for a kid. So are you a, a new trainer as well? Well, technically I'm not a new trainer, but... Well, it's probably been over a day now, in-game. Especially after all that, uh... Polywag training, which took quite a while. In fact, I, I don't even know how long the, uh, in-game clock has counted up to. It might have been at least an hour or two of training that polywag against all those geodudes and onyxes against that in the rock tunnel while running around blindly. At least with it getting boosted experience, it gains levels quicker, which is a definite plus for it, for Jenks here. If only its attack were a bit higher, then I'd probably be doing more damage. But then again, it's uh, at a low level. Heck, I'm, I'm pretty much used to being able to do damage um, that practically knocks out my opponents in one hit due to my overleveling. But hey, Lola's holding her own. 
Oh jeez. Yeesh. Uh, yeah, that calls for a uh, lemonade right there. <laughs> Heals 80 HP, and I only had one out of 75. Jeez. Wow, this thing's pulling out all the stops. Jeez! Okay, we're uh, heading back to Jackie Chan here for a bit. So <laughs> let's hope that Jackie Chan can really dish out the fire punches here. Yep, he can dish out the fire punches. And Pikachu, guys. I'm pretty much going to do the whole bait-and-switch thing here. That sounded kind of weird. <laughs> uh, I think... no. Not Bolt or Tsunami, Jackie Chan will have to do since... Well, Bolt wouldn't be doing too much damage with Thunderbolt on a Pikachu. Then again, I have been able to knock out Pikachus in one hit with Thunderbolt. But that might have been just because they were way lower level than I am. I don't know. That might be, but who knows. Alright, level 26. Okay, gonna switch out one more time and hopefully level is HP. Nope. Still too low. Uh, at the very least, I can, I suppose, level up Tsunami because he's gonna need something better than just. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I think I can teach him Bubble Beam. So then he'll have a good water move for now. But I have to dig up the TM out of the PC, and I don't remember which TM it was. <laughs> Is it TM27? I don't remember. There we go, time to go back to heal. And also pick up the old beam TM. I wanna become a good trainer, I'll train hard. Okay, you know, I'm not gonna walk all the way there. I'm... Time to go bird mode to Lavender Town. And also see if I uh, how long the timer off in game is up to. Wow, only 17 hours. That was shorter than I thought. Oh well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Let's see which TM is bubble beam and which one's psychic. Mm. So I'm gonna get TMs 11 and 29 out of the PC if I have 29 already. Oh well, only one way to find out, and that's to withdraw. Let's see, there's 11, and for 29. Let's see, where is it, where is it, where is it? I think I have it. Don't I have it? Huh. Wait, maybe I passed by it. Uh, no, I don't have it. Oh, right, right, I didn't pick it up yet. <laughs> okay, so... I suppose I'll teach my Blastoise a new move. And... What? Wait, what? Lola can learn it? Huh. Well, that's definitely something. I didn't expect Jinx to be able to learn Bubble Beam, but then again, it is an Ice type, and Ice types usually can learn Water type moves, so. I don't know. We gotta upgrade Bubble to Bubble Beam. There we go. Now he has a much more decent Water move. Time to go bird mode again! It's 
good thing that Saffron becomes the default just by pushing down. Okay, and now, a visit with Team Rocket. But we're not gonna be bothering them. For now, we're too busy. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. TM29. TM29 is psychic. It can lower the target's special abilities. Yes, it can, and it's a good move for Jinx. Unless it learns it on its own, I forget. Does it learn it on its own? Can it? No, it can't. But its next move is at level 31, which is going to be good. Trying to learn Psychic, what should I get rid of? Uh... Wow, pretty much all these moves can be replaced. Are Well, they're all replaceable, but I think I'll get rid of Lick. Because, well... Ghost moves on a Psychic type isn't that good of a combination. Best to have something that matches its type, and so at the very least, I'll be able to get the same type attack bonus on it, and I'm gonna have to go straight to the next trainer battle that I can find just to uh, rearrange my moves. You know what? I'm gonna ride the bike over there, because it's basically the same theme throughout this route as it, uh, as it is through the next area. But don't worry, I'll get off the bike once we get there. Yeah, I could probably fish up a Pokemon and then rearrange my moves. Yeah, I think I'll actually do that. That sounds like a good idea, actually. Oh, come on! You know, this episode's been full of fishing, huh? I think I've got a good idea of what I want to call this episode. What with all the fishing going on. Heck, this has been one big fishing fetch quest, really. And I don't really care what I find here. Oh, a Krabby. Eh, uh, I... I kind of like Krabby, but I kind of don't at the same time. There we go. Psychic is where it belongs now. Oh wait, actually no. That's where it belongs. And I'm gonna run. Because I don't want to fight it. I'm gonna leave that Krabby as it was. <clears throat> so that we can make more progress. And zoom along. Too bad you can't move this fast in the game without using the bike. Because you only go half as fast. And time to get off the bike. I gotta rearrange my items. Jeez. Okay, let's see, what's this say? Route 13, North Silence Bridge. That's where I just was. And uh, I think there's an item hidden here. Oh, found the calcium. Thought so. I think that sign there says to look over here for a hidden item, but I just found it on my own. Uh... Hello. Wow, your badges are too cool. Really? You like my four badges? Oh, thank you. I take pride in collecting gym badges. Ah, oh, Poliwag. Oh, level 30? That should be a Poliwhirl by now. Dude. Oh, what? What? Psychic Mist? How can it miss? Oh well, at least this time, Psychic connects. Oh, so close! Not to worry, I have the Poke Flute. And this is probably the first time that I'm getting to use it in battle. Okay, it's the abridged version, I suppose. All sleeping Pokemon woke up. Oh, come on! Twice in a row! At least Poke Flute is infinite! Because that would be really stupid if it gets used up like an Awakening. Because then, well, what would the point be in having it in the first place if it d 
disappears after one use, like any other item. Which is a good thing that it doesn't do that, because that would just be ridiculous. And, uh, another polywag. This trainer is taunting me because of how difficult it was just to catch a polywag. My notes said that I could have found a polywag in Vermilion, but I need a different one than the one that I have. So apparently, only in Pallet Town. You got those badges from Gym Leaders? I know. Because Pallet Town is the only place where I can go right now that, uh, that polywags can be caught using a super rod. So yeah, you can see where I'm going with this. Do you want... wait, do you want to Pokemon with me? What? <laughs> okay, grammar check. Don't you mean battle? Oh well, it's a Clefairy. One rare Pokemon versus another rare Pokemon. I think maybe I should use a couple of PP ups on Psychic. Oh, minimize! And he turned into a Midget Kirby! <laughs> And now he's gotta be like that for the rest of the battle. And Minimize pretty much shrinks the Pokémon down to size to raise their evasiveness, making it harder for me to hit it, as you can see here. But seeing those big attack animations come from such a small Pokémon like that is just hilarious. I gotta move the Pokéfloat up higher in the list. You know, I'm putting it where the super rod is, because I don't want to use it for quite a while. Wow, getting a lot of use out of the Pokefloat. Hopefully its evasiveness is slowed enough. There we go, it's probably back to normal evasiveness. If not, then oh well. And at least Lola is slowly climbing the ladder back to being uh, caught up with everyone else. And you know what? I just from looking at that increase... Special attacks are gonna be Lola's specialty here. Literally. Cause, well... Physical attacks aren't its specialty. Special attacks are. It's over already? 2030? Jeez! Talk about generous. I don't know anything about Pokémon, I just like cool ones. <laughs> Okay, that's one way to look at it. Sure, I'll play with you. Okay, let's play. Pokemon Blue. Let's see, a Rattata. Uh, level 27. Okay, so an even match here, one Psychic left. I'm gonna have to start using Pound after this. Either that or swap out... Never mind! That was a powerful one there. <laughs> Didn't expect it to be so powerful there. But let's see if Pound. Nope. Not even close. And paralyzed. That happened quite a few times when I tried training that Polywag in Pokemon Tower. But thankfully I have Paralyze Heal. It's probably gotta use Par Thunder Wave again. Oh well, it didn't. Maybe I should try a uh, double slap. Oh, it has swift. So it used a T. This trainer actually used a TM. Unless Pikachu learns out on its own. Ah, crud. Thunder Wave. And quick attack, of course. It would have quick attack, now wouldn't it? Nice! Let's see. Oh! Actually, it does learn it naturally. It learns it at level 26. So it learned it last level. Yeesh! Talk about a close call there. And Rattata, right I'm gonna keep her out just for a second, and I'll swap out to, uh... Bolt. He'll do the job quickly enough, and... That's pretty much it for this episode of Woo! of Let's Play Pokemon Blue version. 
see you guys in the next episode where we continue on through training up. See you then.